My name's Paul Clough, and I'm part of Unplugged Personal Development. You see, in this genre of personal improvement, self-development, of becoming a better you, things have been made way, way, way too complicated. Why? Hmm. Not to make people like me, like you, feel special, I don't think. Maybe it's to make those who overcomplicate this stuff to feel better than us. And I don't want any part of that. And that's why I've created this podcast, to break down these overcomplicated ways and produce and develop powerful yet simple, Einstein said, in simplicity there's genius, simple ways using hypnosis, NLP, loads of other stuff for one reason. And that one reason is so you can, if you choose to come along for the adventure, become the real you. Sing with your real voice and break through your own personal barriers. And we're not going to be fixing what doesn't work because, you know, it just didn't work. But we're going to find better ways. And we're not going to be using painful ways of the old ways and old stuff. We want to create pleasure, passion, real opportunities, real dreams, learning and developing, you know, the skills that make it happen. And the aim, not to recreate the old you, but for you to be fully the real you. So no more being held back by the secrets and complicated stuff. Let's have some fun. Let's go get unplugged. Warning. 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 You are entering into the unplugged mind of Paul Clough. Clough. Too late. Personal Development Unplugged. Here's what we're going to talk about today. I was been listening to, as you know, lots of podcasts. And on one of them, I heard this thing by a guy called Derek Sievers, I think his surname is pronounced Sievers. And he came up with this thing. How do you say, or how do you decide whether you want to do something or not? And for him, it was, unless he got a, hell yes, that excited about it, he wouldn't accept it. He wouldn't say yes. It was always going to be a no. So the only things he did in, in his life, the decisions that he made, were all hell yeses. Now, that to me is a great way to be. But when it comes to your business and things like that, sometimes, yeah, you, you'd love to say only to the yeses to the hell yeses. But sometimes you have to think, you know, if, you've, if you're inundated with work and you've got all that you need, then obviously... You can stick to that principle to only go with the hell yeses, but it makes it more difficult sometimes when you have to work a little bit harder or there's that something. But I think it really, really, really does work. And you get a few more reallys in there when it comes to your personal life. Because again, if it's not a hell yes, say no. And if you say no, you're leaving a gap for a hell yes to come in. That's the best thing. But then I was thinking, I heard... You know, I, th- I felt that was really difficult. In some instances, in some contexts, I could see that being difficult. You know, and then there was another guy I was listening to, who he's called Kyle Maynard, and he said he was. It all came about when he was interviewing, and he would get a team of people interviewing a particular people and ask them for their recommendations, and he said, "I want you to score these guys out of ten. And he said, the only thing is, you have to leave out a number seven. You have to leave that gap. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. And you see, I thought that's, that seems pretty good. That seems pretty good because, you know, it does, an eight is an eight. And below a seven is, ooh. And I thought intellectually that sounds really good. In fact, when I did it though, it did make it harder, but it made a better decision, a better quality decision. In fact, I was doing it with my younger son. We were talking about a project we had in mind, and we weren't quite, you know, I could tell that we weren't um, 100% sure of what, which way to go with it. So I just said to him, I explained this principle to him, and he, he took it on board and said, okay, well, I've got my number, but it's really difficult because now when I thought it was a, and more positive to go and do it. It's now turned slightly negative. Uh, in fact, that it's not a goer. And I said, funny enough, I thought long and hard about this, 
And where I'd normally just given it a seven, so it's a sort of okay, it's now probably a, a five or a six. And it made us think, well, this is probably the right thing not to do because we've got now got a better quality decision. But now we can think about it. We can think of how we can improve it before. Can we make it an eight, a nine, by thinking about what's causing it to be a five or a six? And if you can, and you can mitigate those things to make make that project into a nine or, or ten, it means you're really making a quality decision. And with that, you're bringing more um, resources to the table. You're developing it. You're f- just filling out and enriching that decision, which when you do then make that decision to go ahead, it's going to be a real good one. It's going to get the results. It's going to yield results that you never thought possible. But on the other hand, at least I think that's the best assumption to make from that, but on the other hand, if it stay, stays and remains less than seven, then really you ought to decide, maybe let's just park it for a little while until something comes up, if it does come up, but leave space for us to consider new projects, new things, not mull over things. We've done it, we've decided, and we're either doing it with an eight or a nine, or we're parking it and seeing what happens in the future. Maybe things will change. Maybe they'll change and kick it completely out the parking lot. Or maybe they'll bring it onto the drive. That's a funny metaphor, isn't it? But I just thought, this is a real short FMQ, but if you ever do have a decision and you're in the position to go, hell yes, that's intuition, that's really feeling good, just have a little think about it first. But hell yes means let's let, let's really look at that decision. But if you can't say a hell yes, give it a, a 1 to 10 score, but leave out that number 7. And notice how the qualities or the quality of your decisions just get better and better. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Two people passing on great advice. And the most important, well, not the most important thing. The important thing to me about both of these are They are so simple, a simple process that creates a great return on your investment. In simplicity, there's genius. Yay! So thank you to Derek and Carl and the guy um, who brought that to my attention. It's a guy called Tim Ferriss, the Tim Ferriss uh, Podshow Podcast. Um, So if you ever want something different to listen to, go there. He's got great stuff on there. Little snippets like this can change our lives. The little subtleties of changes. You don't have big, big changes. I was talking to a guy, just as a brief aside, uh, actually this morning, a client of mine, and we were looking at the the small subtle, subtleties of change we can do, keeping the real feeling of the outcome in mind and how different that outcome will be when we make those changes, the small ones, exponentially, if that's the right way of saying it, that's what happens. Your results get so big, so quick, and they're comfortable, and they're exactly what you want. That's me rambled. Have more fun than you can stand. Always make it an 8, 9, or 10 with the fun, the happiness, and the love, all that stuff. Enjoy every heartbeat. See you soon. Bye. And before you go, and this is a different before you go, I just wanted to give you another heads up that I have another program on paulcloughonline.com it's all about supreme inner confidence and well regaining your supreme inner confidence your esteem so you have high self-esteem supreme inner confidence and well you know tackle the world with that wonderful set of resources that enable you to get whatever you want it's a six-part program I think it's brilliant. It's got some wonderful hypnosis tracks in there, processes that you won't find anywhere else. I I think it's good. That added to the Free Your Life of Anxiety program. That's there too. There's more hypnosis tracks, creating your inner sanctuary, deep relaxation. Yeah, and there's also, here's that thing. If you go there and have a read, anyway, have a read if you would. Costs you nothing. Money back guarantee on everything. And it is a sponsor, as it were, for this this podcast have a read and then also once you've had a read just put forward slash podcast and you can sign up to 
loads of free hypnosis as I do them. All the ones I talk about in the podcast, they'll come to you online anyway. In Drop into your email box and then you can collect them and they'll be like a back catalogue. So it's all good stuff. And do remember, please, please, please do share this with as many people as you can. Your friends, your not so much friends, anybody, because, you know, they may be having issues and we do want to help everyone. Because when everyone is, well, just feeling good, the whole world feels better. And if you would, please do go to iTunes and put a, a nice review on there. It just helps the show going from strength to strength. Uh, that's what it's all about, isn't it? Let's grow a community, a community for good, selfless service and doing the best we can, creating the world we all want to live in. Anyway, that was this new sort of heads up on a ending. Okay, enjoy, have more fun than you can stand and as usual, enjoy every heartbeat. Personal, personal development, personal development, unplugged, unplugged, unplugged.